What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Sitting behind me, Miss Fanatics 2012 Toyota four wheel drive platinum edition. It does not get any better than that, right? Well, that's what we thought also. And after a year and a half of ownership, we realized that the platinum might not be where it's at. I think the limited edition might be a better choice. Now, the first two things we've run into, First off, airbag rear suspension. Um, it definitely limits your lifting options and that kind of sucks. Now there is some ways you can get around it, but in the end, are they even worth it? I don't know. Moving around the front of the vehicle, just recently the entire gasket on the outside of the grill kind of disintegrated. So we decided let's get a color matched unit, but this beautiful blizzard pearl paint only comes on the platinum, but the platinum also only comes with the chrome grills. There is no way to find a color match grill if you have a blizzard pearl sequoia, you are out of luck. Now, if you watched the last video, you noticed Miss Fanatic came home from work. We walked over and we opened the door on this thing and we were just met with filthiness. It was absolutely cluttered. All the floor mats looked like gravel roads. Well, I got Miss Fanatic in the mood the other morning. No, unfortunately, not that mood, a different one. But her and I came outside and we detailed this thing inside and out and uh, she was so happy about it and I was happy to bring this thing back to its glory and I thought we were gonna live happily ever after. All right, a little quick history is right after we bought this thing, we started making videos. I had a bunch of subscribers and viewers uh, write me and say, hey, beautiful vehicle, we have it in the same color and I wanna let you know that that Blizzard Pearl paint, sometimes it can go bad on you and it just starts coming off. I had a couple people actually write me and say it was coming off in sheets. Uh, now that's a very concerning word right there. Uh, now I, I was aware in the back of my head that the paint could start falling off. I, I know that Toyota had a few years, they had a bad run with some paint issues for this Blizzard Pearl paint, which, which came on Avalon's, Forerunner's, Sequoia's, a bunch of other vehicles. But I kind of chalked it up to, I don't know, maybe the owners aren't maintaining, you know, the paint, they don't wash the vehicles, you know, I don't know, maybe they live in somewhere where there's different uh, climate. I have no idea, but I just figured, hey, it's not gonna happen to me, right? Well, I'm at work last night. Miss Fanatic comes home from a trip over to uh, San Jose. She sends me a text and says, I just got home and I noticed there is a pretty nice chunk of paint missing. And she follows that up with a picture. And you guys, it's happened to us. Look at that. That is wild. Can't begin to tell you how clean, how cleanly that came off right there. It just what happened how, how did it even get an opening or a lip to to catch the wind and fly off i mean it almost looks like i could just take this leaf blower right here and i could just blow the entire paint off the vehicle i mean this thing will be raw metal in three minutes now i've seen many vehicles before with major paint adhesion problems you know chevy's had more trouble with paint than anybody i can think of you know uh, i even work with a guy with like a 2016 honda chr some little tiny honda thing and the white factory paint just, just came off in sheets i guess is what you'd call it uh, i'm gonna have to do something to stop it right now i really wish i had aerosol blizzard pearl paint but i don't i just have some touch-up paint right now which is better than nothing i'm just gonna scuff up the edges uh alcohol prep it and then just uh just kind of paint it like it's a big toenail and uh, and just fix it up uh we have to go meet up with miss fanatic in a little while and i, I want to at least you know wow her or take her mind off it or assure her everything's going to be fine so let's let's clean this thing up and get it looking good right now all right let's get this thing all fixed up and then we'll go meet up with her see what she thinks of our repair are going all right i just moved her back in the sun a little bit so we could have some direct sunlight right on it uh filming a time lapse let me tell you that the iphone is the best device for those time lapses out there anyways it's not looking good it's not looking bad we're addressing the situation or okay so it's going to keep it from chipping but it needs to be professionally uh fixed at some point maybe we should uh just get the whole thing wrapped or something you know just if we wrap the whole vehicle, uh, it would keep the paint intact. But the only issue there is when you take the wrap off someday, I think it would take the paint with it. That would be, that would be a problem. And just like that, the sun is almost gone. I got to get in a few coats though. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Is this guy really driving with his door open? Yeah. It's kind of weird, right? Did they 
just drive with the door open? It's weird. It's better than before. Let's see what uh, Miss Fanatic thinks. What is up? I did not know you were coming home. I thought we were meeting up. No, hi. All right, mem it. remember what was going on last time? Yeah. All right, let's go. I'm scared. So it's the best I could do. It's not perfect, but at least it's sealed because I, I don't know what we're gonna ah. do. There was a what? tiny, <laughs> Why? there was a tiny bit of like cracking right above it. And so I had to, I had to fill it in. Okay. I don't know what to say. It's just, you know what? It is what it is. I'd right? rather a cosmetic problem than a mechanical it's problem, true. but no, I really don't know. You know, it is a 2012. Now I did go online last night and there is a phone number and a support and stuff from Toyota <laughs> for the problem. I'm serious and you're very resourceful. Oh. So <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to give it to you and we'll see what you can get accomplished. But like, cause there's a known problem you're saying? There is a known problem. And it affects oh, totally Avalon's 4Runners. You know me. Sequoia's, a bunch of different vehicles and uh, Okay, well. So we'll see what you can get accomplished. Can try, right? Class action lawsuit in the making <laughs> for emotional damages. <laughs> there will be. Yeah, but anyways, it's a lot better. It is. And I think that 99% of people would do nothing, oh, right? Is, they would just leave yeah. it and it would just start. You know what I thought it was last night, right? Uh-uh. I thought it was moth. Oh, no way. I was like, oh, cool moth. Uh. <laughs> and realized it was your paint. <laughs> yeah, it was really sad. <laughs> oh, man. It was really sad. Especially All right, after well. After my long day yesterday. Yeah. How was driving this thing today? It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready to trade? I'm ready for my for CarPlay. Oh, Apple CarPlay is where yeah. it's at. Right, we're gonna go uh, run some errands, right? Yeah. All right. Lots. Let's do this. All right, and we are back. It's the next day. Uh, you know what? So Miss Fanatic was happy with the fix on her Sequoia. Um, you know what? Our fix. At least it'll keep the paint from you know more of it falling off. Hopefully for the moment it'll just stop it in his tracks until we figure out our next move. But speaking of Sequoias, now I think it was the video before last, we got uh, this transmission skid plate armor and these cat shields uh, from Skid Row Off-Road. And I'm, I'm pretty convinced that it, since we haven't installed them yet, that the cats are probably gonna get stolen, you know, and, and I'll, I've had all this stuff sitting at home and I just never installed it yet. So I think there's no better time than right now. All you need is a floor jack right here and some hand tools. And uh, they want you to put these on uh, that before you put the whole assembly on. Now, the holes at the bottom, uh, you're going to use some pre-existing threaded uh, holes that, uh, that are already on the vehicle, but these top ones right here, um, we're going to have to drill our own holes through the transmission cross member and then these uh, big washers and stuff go in there. It doesn't seem too bad. I think we'll just jump in and see how it goes. You know how I'm always saying that uh, 2005 through 7 Sequoias are better than uh, 01 through 4s? I'm totally kidding, but just, they did make a couple differences, and one thing they did change is uh these little brackets right here i guess these ones are not on uh pre 05s and so first first order of business in the instructions is you just take those off and discard them all right with no further ado let's crack a red bull get to it So I take 10 minutes to pull the Sequoia out of the driveway, blow all the metal shrapnel off the driveway from uh, drilling those holes. And the sun has almost departed for the day, but we get just one last second to uh, admire our work right here. So like I mentioned before, that skid plate is from Skid Row Off-Road. Go ahead and check out their website. They have skid plates for a bunch of different products. and. Uh, 
the installation was super easy, the quality, everything. I got nothing but good things to say about uh, that company and their products. Anyways, so the OG Sequoia is safe, secure, shielded, whatever. That thing is safe from cat thieves right now. Uh, Miss Fanatic Sequoia and the T100, phew, it's still open season on those two, but uh, this thing. That's gonna be a wrap for this video. If you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. If you're not already, everybody, big old thumbs up for the channel. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you for more great videos soon. Peace.